Alright guys, how's it going? So there was a user on Facebook and he was basically asking how do you do the vignette effect in the Blender compositing? Now I'll be completely honest here, I don't use Blender for compositing, it's kind of alien to me, but it's a pretty easy effect. Now I'm actually going to render this out in Eevee just for speed more than anything else, it looks cracking in cycles. And the reason I want to do this is, so when I go into the compositing, I enable use nodes, I have a render layer. So let's zoom in a little bit and let's just quickly clean this up. Now the only way that I know how to do it is by using an ellipse mask with a blur and then just combining the two images together. It's pretty easy to be honest. So I'll press Shift and A, S to search and we'll search for an ellipse mask. We'll just quickly drop this down here. And obviously we need to mix this with the two images. So what I'll do is I'll press Shift and A again and I'll search for a mix node. I'll take the mask, I'll plug this into the image, I'll take the image and I'll plug this in here and then we'll take the final image and we'll plug it into the composite. Now we can't actually see anything at the moment, we really need a viewer node. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to press Shift and A, S to search and we'll search for a viewer node. And what we'll do is we'll just kind of tag this off to the side here. Now sometimes the image might be much larger than the workspace, so what you can actually do here is you can actually press the V key and that will scale the image. And if you really want, what you can do is you can hold an Alt middle mouse and you can move the image to the left for example. Now obviously with the ellipse mask, I'm going to put the width up here a bit, so we'll go for something like this. We'll put the height up, that looks good to me. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drop down a blur node, so I'll press Shift and A, S to search. We'll quickly drop down a blur node. Now we have several types of different blur here, so I'm going to actually just change this to fast goes on, goes on. <laughs> and the next thing I really need to do here is change the mix node to multiply. You can start to see the effect that we're getting. And it's just a matter of really pushing the X and Y in terms of the blur. Now, maybe worth putting a relative on, then you can work in percentages. Pretty cool and you end up with this kind of nice vignette effect. Now, is it going to be any quicker than doing like a lens correction in Photoshop or even just doing a gradient blur in After Effects? I'm not entirely sure, but hey, it's there if you need it. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me in Gunmode, you know what to do. Take care.